All right. Yeah, yeah. Virtual check-in every Monday, man. You good, fam. You know how we do. Yo, shout out Lola Buns, man. Jana Finch is finest. Yeah. Make sure you go download that on Spotify, man. Support local artists, support local talent. Yeah, yeah. Big up to everyone coming through. Stolen from Africa. Every Monday, man, we do our virtual check-in, man. You good, fam. Today, we got a special guest coming through. Talking about the power of the subconscious mind. Yeah. We're going to give everyone a chance to just plug in, log on. We're going to do this. Hey. Jane and Fish. Checking. Let us know you're feeling in the chat, man. On a scale from one to ten, one being not so great, ten being amazing. Let us know. Let us know. Hold on, let me my camera. <laughs> yeah. Oh big, big up to everyone coming through, man. Big up, big up, big up. Yeah. Oh man, we got that. Mini circle again. No, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Shout, shout, shout out Daisy, man. Shout out Stacy, man. She's at 11 today. Big up, big up. All right, man. Yes, man. So our virtual check-in, man. We got a special guest, man, talking about the power of the subconscious mind. And we're really going to get into it, hopefully. And no, I, I don't like that spinny circle, yo. It's positive oh. vibes, positive vibes. I'm just going to put all that energy that things are going to go according to plan, you know. But in the meantime, let us know how you're feeling in the chat, man, on a scale from 1 to 10. 1 being not so great, 10 being amazing. Uh, this is what we do, man, creating accessibility virtually, you know, creating a vibe for connection in these digital spaces and just making uh, these conversations accessible because, you know, people like us, we have these conversations all the time, but we really want to put it out there and make sure that people are able to connect, man. So... We are definitely excited here, man. I got Symbolic, man. I got Brother Jonathan here, man. We're definitely going to get into it. But in the meantime, you know, while we get situated, um, Symbolic, man, how are you feeling? Yo, just hitting these buttons, letting people know what's up. We're checking in on a Monday. Um, and yeah, man, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm all right. I'm a, I'm a solid 7.5. I'm in the house. I'm good. 7.5, man. Okay, okay. That's what's up, man. Peace to everyone coming through. I see Peach Tree in the house, man. Don't know. Ooh. Hopefully the brother will come back, you know? <laughs> I mean, yeah. hey, when, when we operate at higher vibrations, you know, we just got to roll the punches, man. You know what I mean? But we're, we're still going to create these spaces. You know, um, shout, out, shout out Sarah, man, saying that she's an eight until she has her tea. I love that, man. Tea is, uh, is definitely a vibe, you know? Um, Today I had my morning coffee, but I'm gonna have tea a little bit later. So that's that's what's up. Feeling the vibe. Uh, me, I'm feeling about like 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 a nine, but I'm pretty sure I'm probably gonna be a twenty by the end of this conversation. When my brother Jonathan comes back, um, it, it's it's really cool, man, because he's someone that I've been building with for for a while, and just waiting for the right time for you know things to intersect. You know, like you know those ones where it's like you know you're supposed to build with someone, but the timing is just not there at that particular moment. And I feel now we're here. And I, I really see like the beginnings of this conversation as like an opportunity to really right. take to the next level. And you will see what I'm talking about once we get into it. You know what I mean? So so hopefully he'll he'll, he'll be back. We get uh you know, I know sometimes uh the internet and you know Instagram does its thing, you know, but we always gotta keep positive vibes and, and what have you. So um big up to everyone who's letting us know how they're feeling on a scale from one to ten. Yep, shout out Moonstone saying that she is a 10 plus, man. That's what's up, man. On higher vibes. Peace tree, man. Big up. Always fam, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, from time, from time. Um, anybody else who wants to participate, let us know what you're feeling. You know, we want to keep this interactive. We want to keep the energy flowing, keep it connected. You know what I mean? While we get into today's topic, the power of the subconscious mind. And I don't know, like, like what are your thoughts on, on like, the subconscious mind? Like, we can just kind of, you know, get the ball going, like, while my brother, you know, hopefully logs back on. Right. 
Man, I think that is uh, that is quite the the topic because you know we're talking about human programming, really, and then nature beyond that, right? So, so like of 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 all of the things that we are that we are taught, that we experience, that we where we start to solidify what you know, what our ideas about the world are. So subconscious is like, it's almost, I won't say, uh, like, it's not, it's not like we have to do things a certain way, but if we're unconscious of, uh-oh, uh-oh. We're back, we're back. Am I frozen right now? I'm going to go sit by the router. Okay, go, go, go hug that router, man. Am I frozen? Did I just, um, did I just, uh, stop? I'm gonna go. Yeah, you're. Yeah, you're a little bit. Yeah, man. I'm gonna hang out right by the router. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to enjoy the nice weather. (laughs) Yes, yes, brother Jonathan, man. Pleasure to have you here, man. Oh man, I'm I'm really excited. Really excited. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. We're good. Okay. Yeah, man. I'm really excited to get into this. Um, but before we get into today's topic, um, you know, with our virtual check-in, you good fam, like we always want to start off with our our check-in to ask, you know, our, our people them, you know, how they're feeling on a scale from one to 10. So um, why don't you let us know how you're feeling on a scale from one to 10, one being not so great, 10 being fantastic, amazing, and, you know, where where, where you stand. Uh, it's my birthday, bro, so I'm 10 right now. Jeez. <laughs> you know? Yo, I love that, man. Yo, I heard there's, there's uh, parties in Toronto going on, man, boat cruises. And I'm like, what? Honestly, I, I mean... I've been so out of the loop with everything, like like I like I stumbled upon like you know like a mini Caravana event like in in Scarborough, you know just a little little vibe going on. I was just like yo, and I and I seen some posts about some boat crews, and it's it's kind of wild though, you know I me. Mean? I like that things are slowly coming back, and you know we we need yeah. this. You know we had Emancipation Day um yesterday, and just to really reconnect with with our roots and just like the legacy and things that have been going on, man. But but big up to you on your birthday. Like I I just love the <laughs> Thanks, alignments, man. you know the alignments, you know um. You reached out to me a couple days ago. We had a really powerful conversation. And this just, to me, like, really solidifies a lot of what we're talking about, which I'm sure we're going to get into, you know. So definitely excited to have you here. Just some, some background stuff. Um, I, I, for those who don't know, like, I've known Jonathan for, for a couple of years now. We used to work for an agency in Scarborough working with youth. And both of us were part of two different departments within this agency. But we would always, like, find each other. Actually, he would find himself in, in my office. And we would always have these like sidebar conversations on lunch and any kind of free time we would get, we would just kind of connect and just start building. And, and this is like, you know, around like 2017 ish, you know, and I remember Jonathan, you know, we're having conversations. He was like, yo, like, you know, we need to do a podcast, you know, and that's when like the seeds started being planted in my head back then, you know, and then fast forward 2020 with COVID and whatnot. That's when I started doing podcasts. So when, Jonathan reached out to me. It was beautiful. I was like, yo, finally doing it, man. All those side conversations that, that we were having that were amazing. And we were like, man, this needs to be recorded. This needs to be out there. You know, um, that was kind of like the planting of the seeds, you know, and now we're seeing like the fruits of that. And and I see this conversation as like the beginning of many. I'm just going to put it out there. I already know it. And I'm just <laughs> really excited for the, these like divine alignments, you know, because things have been going pretty, really interesting. Like a lot of synchronistic events and energies that have been happening a lot and um so i'm really excited to go into that man but yeah man so brother jonathan man thank you for for being here and making making some time for us yeah, thank man. you i just want to say something neil you i was always in your office because you used to give me nourishment i'm like ah i feel at home i feel like i'm with family you know how it is you know yeah. you know dealing with this robotic artificial corporate structure to find somebody real, I'm like, ah, I feel at home. So, yeah, yeah, we were, the, you know, you were giving me light and juice that I needed. I was plugged in, so just letting you know. Man, <laughs> you know what I mean? Likewise, man, like you, you, you fueled my, my energy and whatnot because you have a lot of expertise that we're going to get into. Like, you know, like you're, you're like a, a hypnotist, a form of therapist, you know, an author, um, someone who really, um, you know, is, is really invested in understanding like the mind and, and really unleashing our, our power so we can be our true, like authentic self. And you had all of the right language. Like me, like I was more like on this intuitive vibe, but you gave me a lot of like affirmations and confirmations that 
I'm on the right path, you know what I mean? So thank you for that as well, you know? And, and now we're doing it, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah, yes, man. and big up to the brother. Big up to the brother. I didn't catch your name. To oh, the brother. Well, Kwame Symbolic. And yo, yeah. while, I'm, while I'm here, I just want to just shout out people giving 10s and 11s in the chat. So big up to the people who, you know, jumped in. We got um, we got with Daisy with an 11. We got um, Moonstone with a 10 plus. We got uh, Sarah with with the eight. Yo, big ups to um, Pestle Theatre as well. Yo, let's go. Love it, love it, man. So, yo, let, let, let's just dive right into it, man. The power of, like, the subconscious mind, you know? Like, I, I know that I, I've, you know, I've heard that, you know, the, the subconscious mind is a lot more, more conscious than what we perceive as, like, the conscious mind, you know? Like, that's where everything really happens, you know? So... Why don't you like break it down for us, man, so we can bring get, get some some uh, awareness? Yeah. Well, first of all, I mean, this is a recent and an ancient thing. Okay. Most ancient cultures they weren't calling it the unconscious mind. They didn't have those fancy words, but our ancestors they knew about this a long time. They knew that we have different parts of our mind, and the part of our mind that we're not aware of is where all the action happens. Mm. Right now, you're breathing. Right now, your heart is beating, and you're not doing that. Imagine if we had to do that. Oh, shit, I forgot to breathe today, you know? Shit, did I make my heart beat, right? So that there's an unconscious part of you that handles all that so you don't have to. Right. Right? And that's just the bodily functions. But they found that 90% of your emotions, thoughts, and behaviors are outside your awareness, are unconscious. Mm. So if you, if you want to make change, you have to make change there. And that's why you see... A lot of ancient civilizations, they use symbols, they use pictures, they use drama, they use imagery, they use art, because that's the language of the subconscious. The language is not how me and you are talking. That's why it's hard to break a habit. You know, you can say like, yo, I want to I wanna quit smoking, I want to quit smoking. And consciously you want to, but then you just find yourself smoking. Oh. So what, what's, because there's an unconscious reason, right? There's an emotional attachment to that, that. So what we're, what we're really trying to do is bridge that gap, mm. right? We're trying to bring, uh, trying to understand this unconscious part of us and communicate with it. Every night it communicates to you through your dreams. So dreams are a powerful way mm. to uh, start that process, right? Mm. That's why all shamans, they all dealt with the dream world, you know, dream time, you know? I, I just want to add, because like you mentioned about symbols, and, and, and I love that because my life uh, uh, well i mean for for a while now but like more than usual like symbols have become like a really prominent like thing you know um and what i mean by that i'm talking specifically like like numerology like number sequence so i see mm -hmm. like a lot of like three three threes and two two twos and four four fours and like on license plates and it's it's like in abundance you know what i mean so i feel like these like you said like there's ways that there's communications that that's happening and it's not necessarily through through words, but it's through through symbols, you know, which I right. find really really interesting. So, yeah, yeah, like I don't know if you want to add on to that, like you know, um, in the context of like numerology and and the subconscious mind. Well, again, you know, when it comes to numerology, you're talking about patterns. Right. Mathematics is patterns. Geometry is patterns. Yeah. Again, patterns are symbolic, and they're the same the same type of language that the subconscious uses. Now, the, the subconscious is not a mathematical brain. That's our logical, conscious, aware, aware mind. It operates through a more holistic way, right? So this is why you see patterns. And patterns are everywhere. They're in nature. So they seem to be the language of the universe too, right? right? And I think what you're getting at is the fact that we got to be able to be able to read these things like we we lost touch of that language right. and we got trapped in this left brain from school in this society left brain is the highest thing how much you can memorize right you know how much you know but yo, know, your power is really in your feelings your intuition your ability your imagination your creativity you know mm. what i'm studying right now that got me fired up one of the things is the is we have three brains we have a, we have a, 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 like, you know, our brain brain, right. we have a heart brain, and we have a gut brain. And right. you hear it all the time. I did I'm going to break it 
I did not know about the heart brain. That's interesting. Like, you want to Yo, elaborate more on that? They found neurons in your heart, bro. There's studies. It emits, it translates emotions, deals with relationships. Wow. You see? Yeah, the ancients knew all that, right? If you look in around the world, in Hinduism, in 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 in, Af in, in parts of Africa, in um, and even in Chinese uh, Taoism, they talk about the wisdom of these different brains, and we say it today. You know, my heart's not in it, or you know what, or you know, think about relationships. You know, you should not be in a relationship, but your heart's in it. Your gut's telling you one thing, your heart's telling you the next, and your brain is confused <laughs> because have these three centers that if they're not aligned and um, they're not working in, in harmony, we end up getting, getting stuck. So the, the unconscious is a, good, is a gateway to get those three aligned. And we actually have a nerve called the vagus nerve that links all three together, right? It, it communicates with your stomach, your heart. Your stomach is dealing with intuition, instinct, will to action, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Movement. Right? And um, the heart, of course, is dealing with your passion, your, uh, you know, what's important to you, compassion. And then, of course, up here, your creativity and your wisdom. Think if you had all three working, how you'd be. Come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how come we're not taught this? That's a very good question. That's a very good question because I, I, I see how oftentimes, like, all three are are misaligned and that's why when we have these like conflicts within ourselves and I know I've definitely been there and still working through those those, those types of like misalignments and finding it difficult to like you know articulate it because it, you know, like you said like in one one direction and then one in another direction and it's hard to like really explain that because you feel committed to all of them but they're misaligned yeah. you know what I mean so it's like which one is the right path like how do you find that you know because you may have certain attachments outside of yourself that you're committed to and that you respect yep. and that you want to honor. But then it's like something's in you. It's like, no, this, this isn't it though. But, but it feels like it is, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's, it's a lot, most definitely. And so, I think if I could just, just like imagine that, and we can see this out there in the world, but within how we think alone, things are put on hierarchy. So the brain has been it. Even the heart is in, like, what are you doing? Thinking with your heart, like, what are you doing? So the hierarchy of it um, is interesting, much less to, whoa, find out now. But what you're saying makes perfect sense that, that you know, um, <clears throat> that our entire, just like the entire world is, is connected with an intelligence and different types of intelligence. So I appreciate your bringing that, that something that makes perfect sense, but was not taught yeah yeah man because in my journey to uh deal with myself and looking at that, my man? issues and looking at my shadow you know what i'm saying i realized oh, where some out? of my issues if i because this is a good model of helping you to understand your issues you know because uh your gut brain is dealing with survival protection so say you want to live your dreams but you're scared to do it because your gut brain is trying to protect you. It's like, nope. The heart wants to go after it, but the gut brain is like, nope, I got to keep you safe. This is scary. So what kind of thoughts would you be having? Confusion, right? But if your gut brain's in it and is like, nah, this is safe. I'm ready to take action. Then you have courage. Then your heart links you up and gives you inspired action. And then you have thoughts and perceptions where you only see wins. You only see the best. You don't deal with defeats. You don't stress about your weaknesses. So, you know, one of the keys to doing that is relaxation. Mm. Relaxation is one of the keys to getting these things aligned. It's not, I know it seems like an easy, that's like a simple thing, but that is, if you can start to master deep breathing and periods of relaxation, you can start to get those three centers and that's also the gateway to the unconscious mind because you relax that beta mind, that, that mind that's always going, and you, you, you calm down the fight or flight. And everybody right now, I shouldn't say everybody, but a lot of people right now because the current stage of affairs are in fight or flight right now. It's really good what you brothers are doing. 
My because mom, you guys are. I'm sorry. Good where's that sound? Anyways, okay. Huh? I heard a loud sound. I didn't know where it was coming from. Anyways, please continue. I, I don't know, but um, it's good that you brothers are doing this because you're offering a different narrative that's needed. Because a lot of people are in fight or flight right now. They're in anxiety. They're in, you know, anger and aggression. I don't know what to do, or I'm just gonna shut down, or I'm scared. But no one's in the middle point, or they're in freezing freeze mode. No one's really like, I shouldn't say no one, but relaxation is a hard thing. Oh no. Got to practice periods of relaxation that brings those three brains in coherence, that calms down the fight or flight tendency, and it's also really good at helping you to process and release stuff. All right, you think about when a negative emotion comes up, most people either push it away. Or they try to do stuff out there. It's his fault. She's the problem, right? But a lot of times, when you just relax into it, you can release it and let it go. Mm. It's like water; it just wants to be let. Like, so relaxation, I would say to your to your viewers and everybody: deep breathing. Mm. Five seconds in, five seconds out, or they say six seconds in. It look up a site called Coherence. Of course, people know about heart math. Okay. Uh, and look up. There's a book called M Braining, where they do a whole thing, six hundred articles and research on wow. on this. No, that's that, that's powerful, man. And you know the whole like you know fight or flight, like that's something that I become really present to. Um, just being in Toronto because I I spent some time out out west, like in Alberta and parts of BC, and just like being in the abundance of, of nature and just away from like the inner city because I live like right downtown so like when I look at my window all I see is nothing but concrete and cranes and you know the gardener mm -hmm. and traffic and whatnot and you're always in this state where like there is no just I can't just be like if I stand up you know on, on, on the on the street for too long a security guard or like a police officer may come ask me questions you know what I mean but like out west I really became present to like yo if I'm out west and I decide to like set up a tent for two weeks nobody's gonna bother me <laughs> because mm -hmm. that's your, the way of life out there, you know what I mean? So when you're mm -hmm. in the city, like, I became really present to this fight-or-flight mode. We're always looking over our shoulders, like, always just, like, like what's going on, trying to be hyper-vigilant, and, and that takes us out of ourselves, you know? So that being said, like, what are some of your recommendations to finding that, that inner peace and just that, that space that you speak of? I think you, you hit on it right there is nature, man. That's one of the biggest things, oh. you know, you already know nature. It just it does all of that almost instantly. And then how you are in nature? Are you bringing your phone in nature? Mm. Are you dwelling on some negative shit in nature? Then you're not really present. Mm. So how you're doing it? But like I said, the, the the deep breathing. And I wanted to touch on attention. I remember we had a conversation yeah. about that. Yeah. Um, your attention is really key right now. Because when you're in fight or flight, you're not realizing that your attention has been hijacked. And you're hijacked on some, oh shit, what's gonna happen? And then, and then, and then, and then, or, oh my God, oh my God. You never, I'll, I'll give you an example. It's like you have a leash on a dog and that dog is like your mind and it's just going everywhere. It's just going, it's even chasing its tail, you know? Mm. <laughs> it's barking at other dogs at me. You know what I'm saying? It's running wild. That's your mind when it's in fight or flight. Mm. <laughs> you know, it's all over. You've got oh, to... So people don't realize the power of tuning out and unplugging because you have an inner guidance. You have a powerful inner guidance that's better than anything I could say or anyone else can say. Mm. How are you going to hear that voice if you're in fight or flight? You're always... You ain't gonna hear that voice of wisdom to know what to tell you to know what to do. But even even to trust that voice, you know, because I'm sure, I, like we we all experience that, you know, and and there's moments even myself, like I second guess myself, even though I feel something strongly, even though everything around me is saying like nah nah nah, but inside it's like yeah yeah yeah, you know, like yeah. to gain that that courage, and I and I know that we mentioned courage, courage was, was a, a really intentional word that that we use, and to like right. step into that space. You know, it's like, it, it's, it's, it's a definite challenge when everything around us is set up in, in a way for us to take us outside of ourselves and to not really trust uh -huh. that intuition and that space. Yes. Attention is the doorway to your mind. You look at it like 
when you see when you saw those temples and you saw lions outside the temple or guards think of that as symbolic of your mind your mind is a temple yeah right what are you doing to guard and protect your mind because we're very very suggestible i'm a hypnotherapist we're very suggestible we're very open to the influences and persuasion of everybody mm I don't care. People say it all the time. No, I'm not. Nobody can tell me nothing. And I and I could break it down in two seconds. Like really, like please break it down, man. Break you're it down here. From that lens. You're, yeah. You ain't like there's a certain degree of um, suggestibility, but I mean it's perfected now through advertising and, and and news that I mean it's on such a sophisticated level that you have to guard your attention. Where is your attention? Oh, you know, and how do you know you've lost control? You, 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 the leash is pulling you, and now you're worried about something that has nothing to do with you, or you're dwelling on something from the past that's over, but you're not right now, here, right now. Oh. The only thing that can take you into right now is your breath. That takes you right back into now, mm -hmm. and now is where that power lives in you, so you can hear it. It's not in the. It's not in the past. It's not. It's right now, and it could be speaking to you. You ain't hit. You know. Mm, mm. Yo, that's powerful, man. Like, um, can, can you speak to 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 your book that that you released um a couple of years back? Thank you. Uh, no problem. So, unleashing mind power was my first offering, and um, man, I just like ah, I got everything. I I I uh, I I thought I knew. Cause yo, you know, three years later or two years later, you look back and I'm like, I'm not even there anymore, you know. Mm. Um, and you know, I thought I knew, and then I'm like, wow, this is another level. So we're yeah. always kind of the, the top is always at the bottom. Like <laughs> we, we think we reach the top of something, but then it's the bottom of something else for us to keep continue continuing our growth. Right. But um, my book is about the. Uh, everything I learned about the subconscious mind up to that date. Right. Uh, pulling from various different, uh, you know, areas from the science to spirituality, metaphysics and stuff like that. Cause they're all talking about the same thing, the, the unconscious in different ways. Mm. Yeah. Yep. It's and and it's, uh, I had some stories in there and then I had exercises and techniques, things that I've used that's helped me. Okay. So I guess, like, like, what was, like, your general, like, intention at the, that particular level that you were at? Because now you've obviously evolved to another space, but in that particular moment, like, what was the, the intention? Man, it was to get the stuff out of my head, to catalog it. Right. And I saw gaps because, yo, people don't talk to each other. So, like, you know, metaphysics. They're not talking to the scientists. The scientists aren't talking to the occultists. The occultists aren't talking to the, you know what I mean? To uh, the whoever. And so I was reading all of that. Right, right. I'm open. I'm like, I don't care. You, right. got, you know, I'm not scared or whatever. You can teach me, you know? So it was a consolidation um, and then an offering because I know people aren't going to go to some of those areas. Right, right. So I went to those areas to extract the jewels that I thought were jewels. And then I and and it's uh, and I gave it as an offering to people who want to learn more about the subconscious, you know. So they can look look at it as a guide tool. They can utilize the techniques or not. Um, but it's uh, yeah, it's it's very 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 informative. You'll learn some new stuff. It'll and it'll it'll get deeper into things you thought you knew. Mm, mm. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's. Oh, proper, can you say that's the name amazing. of the book, please? Unleashing Mind Power. How to harness the magic of the subconscious mind. You can get it on Amazon. I just put it up there not too long yeah, ago. Yeah, probably. I was doing I was telling the hand to hand thing, you know. So Yeah, well definitely Thank you. definitely put that in the chats and what I kinda wanna go back to the idea of attention, right? Because that's such a big that that's been a been a pressing like big topic for me, man, in the context of like social media and just where everything is going. Like, you know, it's all about like, you know, like distracting us, you know, and taking us out of ourselves and getting sucked down these like wormholes and then you know, like, and then it's like, where, like, why are these things like in my mind and taking over like my thoughts, you know, and, and, you know, so I really want, want you to, you know, kind of like, you know, elaborate, you know, on, on that and maybe just how, how we can like really just like protect ourselves or just be more intentional, you know, of, of what's happening. 
man, this is a topic I'm so interested in right now too, and I'm researching it even more. I want to give you another another analogy. Imagine you go into an all you can eat buffet, mm. right? This was given to me, yo, and it's infinite and it's got everything, but you got this plate. So you can't fit everything on your plate. You know what I'm saying? Right. You go into the buffet and you're going to take and you're going to put things on your plate. You're going to experience what it is and then you're going to let it go. Some things you like, some things you don't like, right? Are you going to uh, diss or get mad at the other person for what they put on their plate? Word. That would be silly, right? right? <laughs> oh, you put green beans? Oh, shit, man. You like, you like potatoes? What's wrong with you? You're mad. You're fucked up. You know, that's what we do. Right. Think of the plate as your your consciousness, your reality, your world. What are you putting on your plate? Mm, mm. Now, when you go to buffets, you got to eat what's on your plate, or they tell you <laughs> you're gonna pay extra, right, or whatever. Right. right. That's your attention works. What are you bringing into your sphere? I'm gonna drop this on you that I that I learned. Okay. okay. And I and I want you guys to tell me your thoughts on it because. I'm trying to understand things too. So the more we can get it out and, you know, yeah. as a group, you can help me to understand it. Okay, let's do it. There's a guy in quantum physics, Heisenberg or whatever they talk about, and he realized that this reality responds to your attention, but really the questions you put out. So whatever you, so the, the question, the dominant question, whatever you're putting out, it responds, it's going to give that back to you. This other guy came in, I forget his name, and he said, well, it's not just the questions you respond, that, that you ask, but it's also how you react to what you get back. Yes, indeed, indeed. So you're, you're putting something out, it's going to respond back to you, and then how you react to that experience tells the field out there, the universe, right, what you want. Right, indeed. So again, your attention is oh. organizing reality and constructing it. In, the, in certain metaphysical circles, they say your energy conforms to your thought, like Plato. Right. Energy conforms to your thought. But people don't realize that. So they're responding to the, e the energy and not responding to the thought that created the energy. Mm. About that in your life. Right. Everything is about how you're molding and shaping this. And your attention is golden. That's why it's, uh, they pay mil thousands of dollars to get your attention in the commercial or the news. The news is one of the worst things Speed out. Money. It is the most deadliest form, not the most, of mind control out. I'm, I'm not, the, not individual people that work there. I'm not banging on the people that have careers in there. They're just doing their job, you know, and they're, and they're good at their job. The structure of it, it is designed, the tone of voice, how they, the words they use, the images, is designed to hijack your, your, your brain, your, your, your emotional center, right? Put you into a trance and put suggestions into your mind. Simple. Deadly. Mm. And you don't even know what's happening. When you, when you say the su suggestions part, what, where, can you speak, speak to that in terms of the suggestions, mm -hmm. what you see there? Great question, because it is multi-level communication they are speaking to your unconscious mind without you even knowing so some of the suggestions are fear panic uh your powerlessness you know uh it's crazy you know uh whatever the long list they you know they strategically put the, be the worst stuff first in the news to get your attention. And then they'll put, oh, a lovely story about a cat at the ending. Right? Mm -hmm. They'll create that urgency in their voice. What they're doing, you can, and if you continually watch that, your, your subconscious is, learns through repetition. So every day, you are tuning in to 
an, uh, an attack, I call it, on your nervous system of shocking it, which is what the suggestion is, to create anxiety and fear. They use words like scandal, the horror, terrible, earth shattering, you know, they exaggerate the shit. And we already have a negativity bias. I don't know if you guys have heard of that. So the, uh, we're, we're our, we have a negativity bias. So, you know, you can look that up. We're, we're programmed to be negative. Like, our, we, we lean more towards negativity in how we process things and how we respond to things. So it's harder to think positive. It's harder to see the good in ourselves. It's harder to see the good in others. We're, our, the brain is even wired to quickly see the negative because they think that was a survival technique. Mm. So the news just rides along that neural. The, the news just rides along that neural tendency. That's why you see people addicted to news. Like I talked to, you know, my, my, uh, my, 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 my mom and my my wife's parents, and um, they can't get off the news thing. I'm like, yo, just do a day uh, fast for a day off news. No, <laughs> I'm like, yo, you're not gonna do anything about what they're telling you. Like, it's <laughs> just to get. <laughs> it's just to get <laughs> You're not going to do anything. This is so true about the thing you're watching all day. Sorry, bro. Yo, just to get a fucking fix. I gotta fix. Yo, I'm going to tell you. And it's, and it's what's fucked up. About it. You know, chemicals are released inside you. Cortisol and all these things are released. And um, a sense of excitement. It's like watching a horror movie or watching, you know what I mean? Right. Oh. And, but it's doing damage to, your, to people's nervous system, their anxiety, their immune system. It's doing ravaging their, their sense of reality. And you're tuning into a reality. They're showing you. Is it correct, though? Is this how the fucking world is? Excuse my, you know, yeah, I, I get past is, how, is it all bad everywhere, everything? Like, really? They're, they're warping you to a certain reality. You're agreeing with it. You're going to create it. You're going to see it more. Oh, man, that's, that's Take a yeah, you, now and then you, you put a lot in perspective how we're just like so like wired and, and conditioned for for negativity and it's how it's harder. And that makes so much sense. And when I look at like the music industry, like last week we had uh, 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 Morgan, Morgan Smith. I know you know Morgan Smith on talking about like music and just like the frequencies and the vibrations and whatnot and just how like, yeah, like everything is, is like the frequency is, is tuned to chaos. You know, and then we're, we're really sort of moving in that direction, you know, and it's just really, really interesting, like to have this kind of awareness, like things that are just happening that we just think are just the way they are, but it's actually by design, you know, so oh. it's a really, you know, a lot to definitely think about. Incredible, man. Incredible. Wow. You know, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yo, yeah, sorry. Okay, great. Yo, I got to, um, I just want to go to the, the comments as well. Yo, this is an amazing convo, but we got Kem Yeah, but before I even go into I'm going to read a thing or two. I got to say his album original is out, and it is a must. On the same, th same tip, how, you know, we go into autopilot or get given um, our, our, what, our, the culture, you know, like some nonsense where they, they, they show us about, gun talk and, and this talk, uh, you know, different, different things about, uh, like, in terms of hip-hop and in terms of music, this is the album. So all I want to say is you need to check out Kemya. So, yo, Kemya's on the line in this discussion, and um, he, he's saying this guy is the man. I agree. I agree. Oh, yeah. This is, like, the conversation we needed to kick off the week with you. Good, fam. Um, we see the negative first, he says, especially the elder older generations and it's true yeah the older generations like sit in front of like same thing my my if you go to my my parents i just actually visited, visited them and they're straight constantly have cnn in the background and so forth um and so kimya also says uh chaos isn't necessarily bad though chaos is melanin actually um yeah, yeah. So, and big ups. I see Snapologist jumped on the line. Big ups to everyone well, in the chat. I, I want to see if um if if, if our brother Jonathan can you know expand on that, like you know like how like chaos isn't necessarily like a bad thing, you know. And um, I don't know if you can add on to like the the, the component of melanin as well to that. If you have I, any insight on that. 
Yeah, I agree completely. Chaos, our understanding of chaos, when I say our, I mean, I'm talking from an ancestral point of view, was un, all potential. Okay. All right? right? All differentiated potential. Not chaos as in confusion. Mm. Chaos as in there, it's beyond, beyond, um, it's beyond any type of organization yet because it's all potential. Right. And from that is where we create. We go into the darkness within. Mm. And, then, and that darkness always symbolizes all infinite potential, all possibilities. Right? But what they're trying to do is organize chaos. Mm. They're controlling the chaos to create confusion. Well, confusion is a technique we use in hypnosis all the time. Confusion is a beautiful thing. And in fact, if you, if you know you're going, a lot of us are, are waking up right now. We're having um, awakenings. Yeah. Confusion is a stage. Yo, I don't know who I am. I don't know who my friends are. Yo, I don't know what's going on. I don't know this. Things like, it's a confusion usually comes before a breakthrough. Uh. <laughs> because conscious mind loses stability and it allows an opening. And that's when you can create something new or get, you know, otherwise it blocks anything from happening. You get what I'm saying? So confusion can be a good thing if it leads to a breakthrough and growth. But what they're doing is putting you in a constant state of confusion and uncertainty. Then they're going to come in with their agenda on what stability is. This is the oh, agenda. Man. The agenda is supposed oh. to come within you. Within you. You. They ain't telling you you're powerful. <laughs> they ain't going to tell you that. <laughs> come on. <laughs> they ain't going to say, yo, man, you know who you are? You know what's within you? Do you know what you can do? Man. He's going to tell you how small you are, how you ain't shit, how to watch out for this, watch out for that, to constantly keep you in a state of confusion, which creates um, fight or flight. You cannot listen and tap into your inner guidance, your inner power. Oh. You have to put out and relax. Man. Absolutely, man. Um, real quick, I want to go back to like this, like like hypnosis uh, place, because I know, like you know, sometimes when people hear that, they think of like this, like complete control of like the mind, and you know, like you may have seen like certain like you know entertainment acts on TV and whatever, and people doing crazy things or whatever. So, can you like break down like exactly what that is for those who may not get a, have a clearer understanding? Thank you. Sure. So, hypnosis goes back to the temples in Egypt and probably before that. And then uh, they, the Greeks got it, and um, and then the Europeans, you know, went to Europe, and then it, it, they put it in a modern context, right? Mm. Well, they use it in the temples for healing. They would put people into trances, right. and they said they would um, let the gods or the the forces heal them, heal their bodies. So, you know, this is an old thing, mm. old, and it's an African centered or you know ancient thing we used to we like this is our our shit we were we already you know like yeah oh, old news you know what i mean <laughs> got nothing, to be, nothing to be scared of it's, it's whatever you know you go your brain goes through different i think morgan probably talked about that your brain goes through different frequencies every day right. while we're talking we're in beta when you're sleeping you go through uh you know, theta and delta, so the brain waves are uh, slower. And then you're going to alpha state. You know when you first wake up in the morning? Or if you're zoning out and watching TV and, you know, right. you're in a, something like alpha state. Alpha is when the brain waves are slowed down and your subconscious mind is open. Right. That's why television is called prime time. Mm. It's prime time to program you. Mm. Because you're zoned out, your attention is absorbed. So all hypno, so we go into states of hypnosis naturally all the time. And it helps us. Mm. We, um, what we, what we found was we can use those states to communicate 
to the subconscious mind. Mm. That's it. You know, that's it. And now they perfected it where they could do conversational hypnosis. They could do it through movies, television. So the front side is what your conscious mind is seeing, the story, but behind that, you use symbols and shit that your, sub your subconscious is picking it all up. You know? Mm. What's important is you can take control of your own mind. And I think that's the, that's what the takeaway for me okay. is you can direct your mind by limiting your attention, choosing your attention on where you put it by developing relaxation. You naturally go into alpha. Oh. When you're in state, you can do visualizations, visualizing yourself happy, strong, doing well, you know what I'm saying? Every day. Right. Right. When you wake up in the mornings, the first thing you do is you look at your phone, you're programming yourself. Mm. Oh. The last thing on your mind, is it something negative? It's like, last thing on your mind should be how good you feel about yourself. Right. The first thing in the mind is how beautiful and beautiful and wonderful. You know what I mean? You've got to utilize that. So you mm. take control of your mind. That's oh. all hypnosis. I like that, man. Taking control and and really just um, being like intentional and being that aware, like you know, and it's so true. Like even myself, like I I got caught up in that loop of like first thing I wake up in the morning, I check my phone, and then and then half the time I'm like scrolling, I'm like, what am I really even looking at? It's just being aware of that programming is so true. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so so now I I you know wake up and then you know have like a glass of water and then just like look outside, <laughs> you know, first you know brush my teeth and so on and so forth. You know what I mean? Before I get to that, mm -hmm. but. Just like, but being now, I'm I'm thinking about being even more intentional, like really programming myself, and like you say, like those those like rituals of like positive self talk and and those positive affirmations, you know, um, of giving that 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 vibe, and that naturally creates right because you know our our thoughts, you know, align with our our emotions and and so on and so forth, and we bring that energy towards us. So, no, that's that's so deep. So we can actually you know, use, you know, um, a degree of like hypnosis, like on ourselves, you know, like reprogram ourselves. You know, I think that's like really what, what it's all about, you know, like yep. how, how do we program yep. ourselves for, for our greater, good, a higher purpose. And, you know, I think it makes me think of, of this music and this like music industry. So I'm going to plug, I'm going to plug every time I get a chance. Kim Ya is who's in the chat there. Like we, when we just blindly, um, say, oh, a hit is what someone tells us is good music. Meanwhile, we can go out and select, like you say, intentionally, music that when you listen to it, it's like, you are great. You are, you know, you can, you can achieve. You can, like, why would we not be choosing that music? And why would we let someone just determine that good music is just something that somehow someone picks for us? So, I, I, I like to look at how things um, are, are similar and the same on different levels. And so, like, what you're saying is, like, yeah, we wake up. It's like just, you know, instead of just letting someone determine this is who you are and these are the things that are important, it's like the same thing we should be doing on, all, on many, many different levels. So, yeah, yo, I'm uh, logic that waking up and, like, looking at the phone, I'm definitely, I do that sometimes, and now... I will think about this moment. Um, yo, let me just, just say quick fast. Yo, we got um, some things that pe people heads are chatting in, or, you know, communicating in the chat. Emancipate ourselves from mental slavery. None but us. We know what that is. None but us. None but ourselves can free our minds. Yo, um, Kemya, let me see, make sure that we're, um, yo, uh, let's see what we got here. Being able to reprogram yourself is the ability can, to connect to your God self. Mm. That is that is one hundred percent. Can can you can you um build on that, Jonathan? Like you know, like connect to the God self, higher self. Like what, what what does that mean for you? Oh man, yeah, that's a big one right there. So <laughs> to me, it's the process of letting go. Whew. You. You are already your God self. How come you don't know that? Mm. <laughs> so, Man. you, we are only aware of what we're aware of. But you're much more than you think you are. 
Mm. It's about getting the things that are in the way of that out. <laughs> you know, letting go. Word. It's not like, yo, I'm trying to become this. You already are this. Mm, mm, mm. You, just, you just fell asleep. You just <laughs> lost the memory. You shut down your centers. You got programmed and programmed wrong. So letting go of all that shit is a process. And then, yo, and then when you think you, yeah, I'm good, I let go. Oh, shit, there's more garbage I got to let go of. More childhood trauma I got to let go of. You know, yo, I thought I had done some work in, you know, to really get a handle on certain things. And then I was tested and I'm like, fuck, I failed that test. Mm. I was still triggered. Mm. So there's more layers you got to do. And you and you can't lie to yourself. You got to be real. You can lie to everybody else. But you know what it is you need to work on. Right. I know what it is. Your kids are going to show you. Your partner is going to show you. Mm. Right? So just deal with that because that is the true spirituality right now mm. is letting go of this garbage that we collected. It's called alchemy. Mm. Spiritual alchemy. You transmute the lower to the higher. Mm. Transmute the lower to the higher. Yeah, you're transmuting emotion. You're transforming these areas back into their their optimal states by clearing this this stuff out of our consciousness. So connecting to your God self, you already are. It's a matter of becoming aware of that, allowing that in, tuning into that force by getting quiet and relaxing. By trusting. It's any relationship. Mm. It's not one way. Imagine you're in a relationship and all you do is talk and you don't listen. Mm. Indeed. You know what I'm saying? And you don't trust. Mm. And then you're like, no, I only, only, only give me this. Don't give me that. Like, you're dictating everything. Right, right, right. Yo, this is a transformation we're going through. That means you are going to be changed. When, you, you, you know what you know what I find with people that that used to not understand it now is they want to their cup is full they want to come in with everything they know and make it fit their their what they want it to fit. Now work now work like that. <laughs> Don't work like that, bro. Man. You have to empty your cup. Mm. If you don't, life will empty it for you. And that pandemic showed people. Oh, you think you're your health? Bye. Oh, you think you're your job? Bye. Oh, you think you're your title? Bye. Because you're much more than those things. Mm. But when you hold on to those things and you you think you're that, then you're not your God self. Mm. Mm. Allow and let go of shit that's fucking leaving your life right now. Let it fucking go. That's the God in you trying to work with you. But the ego mind, the conscious mind is jumping in. Oh, shit, this is happening. What am I going to do? I'm known as this. I'm this, I'm, I'm this, I'm that. And then the God in you is like, you weren't happy with this anyway. <laughs> and she's you out. Or that, that relationship was fucked up. You know they're fucked up. Let it go. Major. That's, that's how you, you tune into the God self. Let go. And trust, man. Yo, that's that, that, that's the real. I know we got about like five minutes left in this session, man. We're definitely gonna have to have you back. And like, I, I knew this was gonna be the beginning of, of others. You know, like we we're just getting started, man. This is just to to open the portal. You know what I'm saying? Like that's all we're doing right now. We're just opening the portal right now. And I don't know, um, since I don't know if you want to get again in the chats. You know what I mean? We got some 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 comments. Like, yeah. Oh, and yeah. I'm sorry. This is just. This is the food right here. Food, man. Food. Good fam. SFA community. This is the food we, we needed to be right here, right now. So, yo, we got, um, let's see, let's see. This one here. Okay. So, oh. Oh. It froze a bit. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, well. I guess I can just kind of jump in, man. I see, I see Ruckus18 saying uh, we are spiritual people, uh, but with the third eye vision. You got Sarah coming in saying uh, so many layers 
of dust and stuff piled onto us through life, but we are there in our truest form, you know? So we got to cut through all the layers and let go. And I think letting go is such an important thing. And, and this kind of reminds me of like the, the, the place that we're switching from, like, you know, like the, if you're, you know, into astrology, we're talking about moving from the age of Pisces and, you know, um, going into Aquarius. And they say that we're leaving this like, kind of like earth, like, you know, like element where it's about like accumulation and being like stable and secure. And then now we're moving into this space of air, which is obviously more lighter and free and it's more authentic. And, and a lot of things that we hold on to, like it's not required where we're going, you know? So I don't know if you have any insight on, on that. If you want to, you know, some last comments you want to leave us with. Okay. First, I want to say, uh, visit my site, centered and aware. Okay. .com. What I do now is I put out meditations, audio albums, working on your inner self, you know, confidence, all kind of stuff. And I'm building it up right now. So check that out, please. Centered and aware. Right. Centered and aware. I'm going to launch something big soon. I'm um, becoming golden. All right. But yeah, man, we need it, you know. But um, so your question, uh, state your question again one more time for me about the about what you said. Yeah, no, just um, because, you know, like from a, an astrological standpoint, you know, they say that we're moving from the age of like Pisces to like Aquarius and like it was the, yeah. like, we're leaving this element of, of like Earth, which is like really dense and stationary and accumulation and, and hoarding and whatnot. And now we're moving into uh, the elements of air, you know, which mm -hmm. is more like light and free and, and being like in, in our um, true authentic self, you know, like and that requires like letting go of a lot, a lot of things. So. Um, I'm just curious if you have like any any insight like from from that perspective. Yes, man. Um, yo, you can feel it. You feel changes in the air. Yeah. Pro, like <laughs> I'm not the same guy I was three years ago. My, my life changed so much. So if you you have to align yourself mm. with this new energy, it's like we're in a season. If it's winter time, you're not gonna go outside in shorts. You're gonna freeze. Come on, come on. You're, you're moving into a season. Mm. So you got to align yourself with that season. Mm. The only way you can align yourself is within. Absolutely. Because what is happening outside is happening within you, actually. Mm. Mm. Wow. You know, it, out there is just a reflection, but right. it's, it's you, me, the collective. We're going through whatever this is happening. So you got to... Go. You have we have no excuse now. I mean, we we do, but you know, it's on you. It's like a big weight, and you have to tune yourself in. That's by yeah. No, that's exactly what I've been feeling. You know, I've been feeling like I've been going through like uh, several transitions. You know, and now I feel like I'm becoming more like my authentic self, and it just kind of reminds me of like when we worked for that organization and being in that space and like feeling just like caged in and, and knowing that there's so much more potential. You know what I mean? I know we both felt that, you know, and then now I, I really feel like I'm in that space where I am creating my reality and I'm seeing the potential, you know, I'm, I'm seeing the chaos, but like you said, it's not this controlled chaos. I'm seeing all of the networks that we spoke about, all the intersections and, and the opportunities that are coming with that. Like, yeah, it's a little bit like, you know, like nerve wracking at times because it, it's new, yeah. it's fresh. I'm not going to deny that. There's times where I'm scared, but, but, I have courage, you know, and that's the difference. I have courage to step into those positions and to in embrace like these, these new experiences and realities and new connections and allow myself to evolve and, and to like let go of certain things that serve this purpose and that may not, um, you know, have, have purpose where I'm going. And that's not to make it wrong. It's just, you know, we, we came together, we did what we need to do. And then now we're moving to another space and to allow that process to go it's as opposed to going backwards and dwelling and trying to fix and, and this and that, you know, like, so when you mentioned about like letting go and then that allows more of a cleaner flow of our higher self for us to really tune into that, that voice, that, that mission, that message. Yeah. You got it. And what I really respected about you is how you can switch up. I remember your, you, you deal with youth, and when you deal with youth, your full attention is on them. Respect. Then you're holding an event. Then you're doing a video. Then you, oh shit, I got a, I'm an MC. <laughs> then you're a dad. Now you're a host. You know what I'm saying? Right. And your attention notice is fully into what you're doing. Right. You I know, that. present. And I really, really admired that because I was like, remember, I remember, I was like, yo, Neil, how, how, you think it's just normal? You just go do a, a video. <laughs> shit, that's I gotta go have an event. <laughs> 
Now I'm talking to these partners about money, about this project I'm doing. Okay, now being a dad, I'm like, dude, <laughs> you've already prepared yourself. Indeed, indeed. I think a lot of us, we don't realize we've already prepared ourselves for this. You, you know, know? We're, we're ready. Like, it, it, it's crazy, man, because I feel like everything that I've gone through up until this point, I feel like now I'm getting started. Like, all of that yeah. was just, like, training, you know what I mean? Like, everything. Yo. That, that's where, that's it was shadow boxing. It was shadow boxing. Now we're in the ring. Now but, we're in the ring. But it, but now I, I have, like, I have, like, a lot of clarity. Like, I can see the connections. Like, you know, when we spoke about this, like, network, this unspoken network, like, I, I see them much clearer now. It's not just, like, uh, maybe it's, like, it's really intentional. And when I see it, I just run with it. So, like, when you gave me that call, I was, like, it's time. And the way how you explain yeah. it, I'm, like, man, this is just... This is not a coincidence, man. It's like now it's time for us to build all those things that we're talking about, building the podcast and whatnot, and now we're doing it. Like like I said, this is like the first of many conversations, and we're going to continue to build. But this session was extremely powerful, man. Thank you for, for bringing, you know, clear and concise messaging and just putting things into perspective in, in, in a real, like, tangible way. Like, well, one of my slogans is, is practical wisdom for tangible change. You know what I mean? So that's exactly what we're bringing to the table and that's what I'm going to continue bringing. And I just want to just, again, like, you know, keep this energy going. So um, I'm excited for the future. I'm excited for the, the potential and the possibility. And I'm excited for your growth as well, you know, because you just Thank keep you. ascending, man. You just keep going up. You just keep going up. I'm going to check out your website. Why don't you plug in your website one more time, man, so people can get tuned in with the meditation. Yeah. So thank you, bro. Centered and aware, uh, dot com and okay. focus on meditation mixed with some hypnosis and things, all to empower yourself, all to help you in your personal growth. I'm going to have a catalog of stuff. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's there, and I'm going to continue building it and remodeling it. But I have a dope program coming out, Becoming Golden, mm -hmm. all about healing your inner child and uh, creating the new you. So I, I got uh, about four recordings in, and I got to complete the others. So. Okay, because, okay, like, I, I know we're kind of going a little bit over, but... Just, wait, just speak a little more to like, the healing of inner child because that has been an incredibly major theme for me. And I've been doing like a lot of like, you know, inner child like healing work. And, you know, it's, it's something that, that keeps popping up like a lot lately. So it's really interesting. I wouldn't even call it a coincidence. It's just alignments, you know, that you would even say that. So I want you to build on that real quick. I'm so glad you're interested in that and that you're already on it. You know, there's no co coincidence. I feel like, we're probably all being called to do this work, you know, mm. time. So, you know, we have this part of ourself that they call the wounded child or the, the inner child that um, has, doesn't know what we know today. Right. You know, right. doesn't know, doesn't have the guidance and wisdom that we have. It's like a part of us that's still stuck in time at whatever we experienced in childhood. Mm. And unfortunately it attracts things to us. It, sabotages relationships unknowingly. It warps the way we think. And if we don't heal that inner child, you know, we just, we're just going to keep creating problems in our life. So a lot of the spiritual work is to help this inner child, feed this inner child a new reality and let that child know that, you know, they're okay. They're good. They're j they are a great, wonderful person no matter what happened to them, no matter what they went through yep. and nobody can, nobody and nothing could take away their integrity and they deserve the best. All those things that you need to, you needed to hear that child in you needs to, to hear that. Uh, Very important. Yo, like I, I'm just going to say this real quick and then we're going to get off. But like, yo, like one exercise that I did, you know, in terms of healing my inner child, and this was guided through um, like an author. I was, the conversation started about like, like writing a book. You know, and then somehow it just went into like inner child healing and we and she just walked, walked me through this process. And what it was, it was like, you know, I, I dealt with like abandonment issues and stuff like that, right? You know, like for my father in particular. And what what she helped me do is like, yo, that inner child, like what you're looking for is is you. Like you're looking for yourself. So I visualize me as like my current state and then visualizing myself at that, you know, like eight year old, nine year old place. And, you know, she guided me through this conversation of, like, what would you, you tell this this boy? You know what I mean? Like, what would you feel he would need to hear? And that exactly what you're saying, you know, like the integrity and that you're loved and you're cared for and there's nothing wrong with you. And I visualized me hugging my younger self and I just started bawling and it was just like an incredibly 
healing experience, you know, to, to know that, like, like you said, like what, what that child's looking for is actually me, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's like work through that. So, and, and I still, I know there's still other things I need to deal with though, but that was a major mm -hmm. breakthrough. You know, instead of me trying to find this fulfillment through, through other things and whatnot, it was actually like me that, that, that could do that. I can't, I can't find it outside of myself. I had to find it within. That's right. And, and letting that child know that you're safe and that, yes. you know, uh, it deserves love. And, you know, because we say words like that, like abandonment, rejection, or whatever it is, or my father would just substitute the word father for love. There we go. That's it. So Ashe. your orientation towards love is skewed by that parental figure. You know what I'm saying? So now you're changing that. Substitute the word love for the universe. Mm. So now if you understand, oh, this is why I don't do I don't do this or I run away from this or I yeah. fear this. Yes. You know what I mean? Mm. Another dope technique is to um apart from all the visualization and stuff that, that we do, because that's hypnotherapy. Okay. And that powerful shit. So that's yeah. that's what we do. And I've had that done on me and I do it on myself and all kind of shit. Right, right. But uh think about to that time that you know, that you back then and start to give yourself those treats, those things that have meaning, symbolic meaning that that child in you always wanted. Yeah. And what it, you, you know, what it, what, what you, you may think it's silly, but it ain't silly. Like, right. for example, uh, maybe it's a, a toy car because it never got that toy car or, you know what I mean? Or he always wanted whatever it was symbolically give yourself that, you know, treat yourself in that way. Word. So you're, you're, you're communicating with that child in you and you're letting that child in you play too. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's, oh. That's another aspect. Yeah, it's really, it's really good stuff. All right. Well, yo, man, we, we, we're going to save that for like part two, man, when we come through, man, next yeah. time, man. But you dropped some, a lot of gems and I'm so glad that we have this documented so we can like reshare it later and what have you. But um, once again, man, plug in your website again because I want people to go check this out, man. Support the cause, support the movement. Uh, Centeredandaware.com. And uh, like I said, I'm, I'm, it's going to start to build and grow. I'm going to start to unleash a whole bunch of recordings and content. I got mindfulness stuff on there. I got stuff for weight loss. I got, I'm going to have stuff for all kinds of things. But my, my next one is the inner child healing work. I'm going to have stuff to sleep better, all kind of shit. Well, like I said, man, like, you know what I mean? Like, you know that we're, we're still in the schools and whatnot, and I think this is, like, a perfect topic for some of the young folks that we're working with. So we're definitely going to continue this, man. And once again, thank you for, for coming through. Again, happy birthday. Like, what a way to spend your birthday, man. I mean, like, yeah, man. You're just in your, in your element, you know what I mean? What a time to be alive, man. Give thanks for your existence, everything that you yeah. have chosen to, to share. You know what I mean? Because sometimes, you know, we have our callings and we don't follow them. You know what I mean? So I want to big you up for, for, for following it. I know it's not an easy path, but you're doing it. You're living it. It's not, there's no trying here. You are, you know? So, so big to you for, for living that. And, you know. And we, don't, and we don't have to be perfect. Yes. Don't yes. worry about being perfect. Fuck that shit. We are already enough. There you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, man. Shout, shout out to Kemia, man. I see him in the chat saying that today is his first son's uh, birthday too as well, man. So. Big up, man. I got Leo seeing, man. Leo season, man. Big up, big up. All right, man. So, Thank yo, we're going to end it like that, man. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in, man. And that's what it is, my weekly check-in. You good, fam. All day, every day, man. SFA, stolen from Africa, reason with logic. No, we do, man. Shout out Symbolic, Kemi, everybody in the chat. You already know, man. So, we'll see you, man. Till next time, y'all. All right, man. Thank Peace. you.